I may not be a comic book person, as I've said many times. I think trying to put new life into comic books is like trying to put new life into radio dramas, into barbershop quartets, into corsets, into things that were once popular but fell out of favor for whatever reason, often because of technology. I just don't see it as possible to bring new life into comic books in a way that would catch on to the mainstream. I mean, just as the other things I mentioned, there's always going to be a niche market for some things, but, you know, to to say it's going to be in the mainstream, I don't know. But I hope I'm wrong here. I hope Ripaverse continues to do well. In just a few days, they've made like $1.9 million, or at least close to it anyway. But there are a lot of people who are willing to support anything that pushes against the type of ideological messaging we're seeing being inserted into everything. If Ripaverse can do well for at least six months, I mean, that would be fantastic. But I foresee the hype calming down after about three months. I find it fascinating that the Ripaverse subreddit was banned for apparently being associated with a hate group. What hate group? Comicsgate, apparently. Yeah, there were some awful people associated with Comicsgate, just as there were with Gamergate. But to just flat out declare it as a hate group, and if you're in any way associated with it, you're, you're, you're done? They certainly don't seem to believe in freedom of association. It seems as though any push against some of this ideological messaging that we're seeing everywhere that's so pervasive, any push against it in any way is seen as hateful. You must push the message of demographical equity or you're a hateful person who is contributing to systems of oppression. I wish Eric July and his crew the best of luck.